I am not seeing this is ice cream. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how, no matter what you actually sell, you should be selling ice cream. Thing is that kids go crazy for ice cream. And so that's how you want your potential customers to be. That's what marketing does. That's what marketing is good for. That's why someone invented marketing to sell what they want. Your product or service is what they need and not what they want. Because to do the thing that they want to do, you know that they need the thing that you're selling, but you got to sell what they want. I understand this is difficult, but you cannot sell what they need because they will not want what they need. So they will not buy it from you. For kids, what they want is ice cream, but what they need is vegetables. Do kids like to eat vegetables? No. It's very rare and every parent with a kid who likes vegetable should be grateful to the universe and every god potentially existing. You should consider themselves lucky. But the majority of kids do not like vegetables. And even if they need the nutrients inside vegetables, they will not eat it because that's not what they want. They do not like vegetables, so they will not want to eat vegetables. And so parents must come up with tricks and weird recipes to make kids eat vegetables. By the way, that's marketing. Marketing is used to sell what they want, even if it's actually what they need. And you can use marketing for your own business, turning your features into benefits. How do you do that? I don't know, that's your business, you know that. I mean, no, I know that. You take your feature and you think, hmm, what is it good for? What, what's the end result of it? Like turning off thirst, if someone is thirsty, you get water. So for adults, if you wanna sell vegetables, you gotta say that it's got the, the good elements of that vegetable adults who will say, I wanna eat vegetables because I need it even if it doesn't taste like that vegetable. We've got pills made with papaya that do not taste like papaya at all. But you know there's something good in papaya and they took, we hope, a good thing in papaya and turned it into a pill for pineapple too. So they're selling to adults not the taste of that fruit or vegetable. They're selling the end result of taking that fruit or vegetable. You can use marketing for your business, for your product or service in the exact same way. You wanna sell the end result. You wanna sell the, the good thing that comes from your feature. And that's how you get benefits. And you gotta be consistent. Then you have to use the right language, so copywriting. And you gotta use the right mood, so you use design and all that kind of stuff. But the basics of marketing is selling what they want, not what they need. What they want is a great end result. That's what you want your marketing to be about, the end result. So marketing your product or service is going to be about the end result of using that product or service. Start from that point. Yeah, saying that something is new, saying that something is an innovation and that kind of stuff is certainly going to help, but that's not the thing that people want. Your own marketing should be based on the end result that your product or service is going to bring. So that's what you want to market. You want to market the end result. So your marketing should be based on benefits coming from the end result that the product or service with that feature that you love is going to bring to the end user. Like the video, subscribe to my channel for more tips and let's make everyone love your business as much as you do. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new quick marketing tip and if you want my freebies, subscribe to my Facebook Messenger chatbot, find the link in the description below.